Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and in this video, we're playing some Dragon Quest Builders. I know I played the demo, but uh, this is the full release of the game. I like the demo so much, so I'm going to go ahead and do a Let's Play series on the full game. And this is the opening cinematics. I don't think I can skip this, uh, so we'll just kind of watch it and see where it leads us. Or leads them. <laughs> He's the Builder! Everything's green now! Yay, Builder! You're the best! <coughs> Except for in the demo, I never got to get a hammer that big, so... All I got was a stick. It made it seem like I was gonna get the hammer in the next step, and then the demo ended, and... I was left wanting. Okay, guess that's one way to take out a giant golem. He's claiming everything, isn't he? Now he's just going up. Not sure of the point of that, other than to see the. Uh, Castle in the distance with the purple haze, which is obviously the bad guy. It's probably our goal at the end of the game is to go there and beat that guy. What I'm interested to see is if this game is procedurally generated or not. I am not sure if it is or isn't. It seemed like it wasn't with the way the quests were written out, so we will find out. Game settings. Ooh, customized character. Wait, wait. Can't do anything in the custom. What? Adjust various in game settings and alter your. Yeah, I can't do anything with my character. Won't let me. Alright. Settings are good. They were good on the demo. I'm sure they're good here. So we're. Heading to Cantland. I wonder if there's more lands, if that's what the drop down is for. It's time to design your character. I don't remember doing much of this. Hair. Uh, what do we want to go with? <clears throat> Let's make him a blondie. Skin. Ah, whatever. Eyes. Let's go with. Blue. And go. My name? What's my name? My name is Static. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's the name. Let's do it. Building the world. Your world. So that sounds like maybe procedurally generated. So thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come thy rightful place at my side. Do so and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. I'm hitting those buttons pretty hard, aren't I? Those wishes not for half the world? I, I got just my chair. There we go. Wilt thou not reconsider? This offer few would refuse. And yet, he was refused. Static, at long last I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hollowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on earth, powerless, awaiting their own destruction. 
Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child. You, your destiny awaits. Get up. Get up, static. Looks like a tuning fork or something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Static, my child, you have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? I'm a dude. With blonde hair. Blue eyes. I see, so you have no recollection of before. No matter, indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Okay. Do I remember. I do remember. Thank goodness, all seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Looks like he's tired. Static, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but is, is not the fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child. It is true, you are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber... Lengthly some slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. <clears throat> Let's go get them. Good. Static, you have been blessed with a special power that the power to combine raw materials to build items anew. And the stump is what you use to do it. You can work at the stump. Use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. So far, this is exactly like the demo. Uh, it's fine. This means we'll go through it quickly and efficiently. All right, we got some cream, healing cream. Wonderful, you made your first creation. Static, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press the square button to use tools and items. Do 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 do. There we go. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Static, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must... Hmm, well then, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place. But first you must learn of your... Sigh, very well. I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. And here we go with the stick. First take this broken branch. Done. Well done, Static. With that humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick. The simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. Building, cypress stick. Done. Going. Yay, now we have a weapon. Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. Spelled wrong, but okay. <clears throat> and as all great civilizations do, to so too they built weapons. But now, only you have the power to build such things. Static, my child, you have been entrusted with a divine mission to... Just let me out. Hmm. I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you not rather learn more of... No, just let me out. Very well. To build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. 
Press the X button to open the main menu and place the cyber stick in your hand. Equipment. Equip. Got it. Well done. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve at, to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost this power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Static, my child, the dreams, the hopes, the very fate of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... He looks like he's getting tired again. Static, you're not asleep, are you? Sigh, perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. <clears throat> to build a path out of this place, you must first break apart and collect nearby earth. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. How many do I need? It says 10. Jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy. Nope. Wrong button. Ah, did it again. Jump. Yeah, I want to collect these petals because probably gonna need them. Well done, Static. That should be enough. Press square button to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. And it wants me to go over there and figure a way out. I want to get these. I have marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway. Will do. In a second. When I'm ready, not when you're ready, when I'm ready. Ah, I gotta get used to these buttons. They're a little different than... Alright, place! Oop, oh, wrong place. Place! Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Boink, boink! I still think they need a noise for the jump. Boink, boink, boink. Okay, there we go. Wink, wink. Open the door and let me out. This is where we're going to find out if this is procedurally generated or if it's the same world every time when you start. Oh, sorry, I should have read that. He said, well done, Static. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alephgard. Before you, light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create, until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Static, my child, you have been entrusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt. And the people of Alephgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? I get it. Forgive me, my child, after having only just awoken for such a long slumber. This must all come as quite a shock. And I know I didn't read that exactly, but it made sense to me. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world and the role you are to play in its salvation. I am Rubus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. Oh, and Static, there's one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as the demo. So if I don't remember the trees being animated and wanting to kill me. And there was no golems, no scorpions, and no dudes with hammers. You see the land... The land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed around, all around with stout fortifications. 
but all was destroyed in the relentless attack by the monster. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Static, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alephgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow onto you a gift. What gift is that? A banner! Uh -huh. And a pillar of light telling me to go there and place the banner. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more that its bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Static attains a banner of hope. Indeed I did. Alright, here we go. So, you fall too far, you're gonna get hurt. Alright, I get it. I hurt myself. I'm a dork. I am just collecting things because I know I'm gonna need stuff. And there is no rush. I went through the demo at a pretty fast clip. But now that I'm not doing the demo, I can take my time and build things up the way I want to. So that is probably what I do will do to make things a little bit different than they were. I know I'm going to need those to make bed, so I'm going to go and gather some of those. I don't need to make more than one bed. I won't tell you why, because that would be spoiler. But it won't be too long until you figure out why. Or unless you watch my demo and then the, or my demo let's play, and then you'll know because you already seen it. <laughs> That's all right. All right. Uh, here we go. Banner. Use the banner. Boom! Bright light. Big city. Not yet. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the, the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. When you plant your banner of hope, the area around it will become your base. The more your, peop your base develops, the more the meter in the top left corner of the screen will fill up. It's a base level. So, and here's a person. What's up? I forget her name. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? Static. Resident request. If a nearby, if a resident of your, <laughs> what do I say nearby? I don't know what I'm reading. I'm making stuff up. But let's read it. If a resident of your town has an exclamation mark over their head, it means they have something to ask you. Talk to them and see what they want. All right, talk. What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? What did you come from? Where did you come from? Not what did you come from? Where did you come from? You don't remember? The goddess told you to come here. So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices? That's not suspicious in the slightest. <laughs> not at all. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Sure, why not? Static. Oh, static, my child. Even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Cantlin alone. And I know this is a goddess, but with the cold I just had, my voice is not re recovered. I cannot do a female voice to save my life. So I'm not going to torture you with me trying. Your first step in rebuilding this city might be to house those who join you in living here. Litter remains of this dilapidated, dilapidated, dilapidated house. Save the door, repair it by filling in the, the holes in the wall with earth. You can place blocks above you by holding L1 and below you by holding R1. Hold down square and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Take this knowledge and these blocks of earth and make this ruined house livable once more. Static obtains five blocks of earth. Here we go. Static to the rescue. Open the door. 
Ah, keep trying to do Minecraft. It's not gonna work. All right, L1 up. L1 up. Yay, I completed the house. Can I hit Pip on accident? Because I wouldn't want to do that. Nope, good. All right, just want to make sure. Wow, that's incredible. The, the, the walls are all full of holes, but now there's a, they're, they're as good as new. Why can't I read tonight? Huh, you fixed it. With dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. I forgot about this dialogue. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special powers. Here, take these. I found them on the way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. So this is her house. Nice. Guess I gotta build my own house. White petals. Thank you. Open. She has another quest, but... probably leave that the way it is till oh that's not what I wanted it says you can do it by moving and that is just not the case I'm not getting that see it stacked it automatically Now I'm destroying everything. All right, what I'm trying to do is build the floor. Oh well, let's do this quest. I will do more building in between episodes so that I can make it the way I want. Oh, you can't hit her. It just doesn't hurt her. Smooth her. Rock be gone. No rocks in my house, village, whatever. Alright, I said I wasn't going to do that and then I did it. Get with it. Let's talk to her. No, talk. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? I'm a builder. What? You got the power to build new things. What does build mean? Static, my child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Hmm, but I can't see any torches lying around here. Besides your banner of hope, you will find a mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. That just sounds wrong. Broken branches, some ooze from. I still want to get rid of the rocks around it. Why are there rocks around it? All right. Torch! Just build one. Oh wow, I built five. That is not what I wanted. Alright, now... Where did Pippa go? Alright, I think I just need to put a torch down. What's weird about torches is you can't put them on walls. You can put them on the ground. Which makes zero sense. Yeah, trophy earned, beginning builder. I'll take it. All right, let's go talk to Pippa. Usually they run towards you when you're done with their quest, but not this time. Talk. Hey, where did you find that torch? I made it. You didn't find it, you built it. 
Ah, so that's what building means. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Yes. Thanks, I think I understand. Sort of. Hey, do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Broken branches. She just gave me a broken branch. Like, I needed that. Alright, let's... Oh, she's got another quest for me. What's up? I just realized something. You never told me your name. No, I didn't. I'm static. Static? Yep. Psh, what kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you'd have any special powers at all. You have no idea. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, you don't understand the power that we have. We have superpowers. No, we don't. But anyways. But you can't judge somebody by their name, right? My name's Cole. What's wrong with my name? Anyway, static. You still got those torches you made, right? We should put one in the house. I already did. A room is complete if it has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press the square button to place your creation wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. Brilliant. Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. Yeah, it just skipped right to that because I already did it. You're amazing, Static. You're really, you really do have a special power. I told you. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey, what, could be so talented. But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? You're wearing the same exact clothes as me. What are you talking about, woman? Uh, anyways, thanks, Static. Now we have somewhere to live. Seed of Life. Seed of Lifes are awesome because they give you extra hit points. Yeah. Got it. So now if I go over here and I use this, my hit points going up. I think it's five. It's five, but I will take it. All right. Next quest. Hey, Static, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be so much better if you had something to sleep on at night? I know, maybe you could build something. Static, my child, you must gather materials that you might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time, night or day, to restore your health. Yeah, but that's her room. It would be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If we had two beds, you could sleep next to each. We could sleep next to each other. That just still not right. In the demo, one right, and still's not right. I need my own space, woman. I just met you. This time, static. I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw ma mattress. Young Pippa requested. A straw mattress can be constructed from grassy leaves. To build one, you must first. First, first, first what? Static, are you alright? Make two beds. Alright, I have 15. That's why I was breaking up the... grass, so I can make mattresses. There's one. There's two. Can I make an oaken club? Because I would much rather have an oaken club. Oh, heck yeah. You know an oaken club is much better than a cypress stick. Oh. What is the button? Ah, no. I'm losing my mind. X. What? I can use different weapons? How awesome is that? So I can use this to gather, and then I can use this to beat on animals. Or monsters. They're monsters, not animals. They're monsters. That sounds good to me. Alright, I didn't like this wall here anyways. 
too small of a room if that's a room. Except for I can't break that one, so we will leave it. Nope, just these. Alright, let's go place the beds. And for now, I will... Stay in the spot with Pippa, but... Static builds his first basic bedroom. Yes, indeed, I did. 130 points. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Static. So bed rolls. Nothing major. I'll make beds later on, I hope. When, whether it is night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you and more powerful monsters emerge in force. When night falls, you would do well to return to your base. Rest your head upon a pillow and sleep until morning. Static, my child. You discovered the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power to create that I bestowed onto you, it seems you also bear the special skill to discern what can be made from the materials you find. This is a wonder, wondrous power you have. It shall no doubt prove invaluable to you in your quest to rebuild the city. Static? Hello, Static. Was the goddess speaking to you? You were staring off into space with your mouth open again. You've got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, Static. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Quest complete! Awesomeness. Alright. Time flies. Indeed it does. Alright, since we're going to make episodes around... 30 minutes we're gonna go ahead and end this episode and then uh, when we come back I will continue on with the next so uh, come back for that uh, the first three four episodes are gonna probably follow along the lines of the demo so far they haven't veered from that at all so if you've watched my demos ones I would not feel bad if you guys came back on the fifth episode and I will try to keep to that so that everything stays in conjunction so, as usual, show your support by clicking like and subscribe. Until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz, out.